victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. If he returns, we'll face him. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You're probably right. It wouldn't be any fun if all this was over so soon. Corypheus believes himself a god. Pride alone demands he not slink off into the shadows. I have faith you will be victorious even so. You know what I just realized? She's hot. No, I've known this all along. I know. Not long ago. This was impossible to imagine. You, a valued friend, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. I realized that she has short hair, but she has a braid going around like a headband. Mm hmm Therefore... She has a rat tail? Yes. I just realized that just now. <laughs> she has to have a rat tail in order to pull off that braid. Yeah. What are we gonna do, Stacy? You don't think it's awesome? <laughs> She's bringing it back. She was like, I saw Star Wars, the Padawans had them, come on. I have a divine rat tail, okay? <laughs> Andraste commanded me to have a rat tail. You'll be the next divine, I assume. That has not happened yet. But it may. If the Maker wills it, then yes, I will answer his call. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. You have come far, my friend. It has been an honor. What are we gonna do? She has a rat tail. You can't be divine. Or Sorry. maybe, or maybe even worse, she has a fake, she has like a hairpiece. No, she wouldn't do that. Nah. It could be rope. Oh. Let's do this. This is important. Don't fall, don't Mine. fall. Oh. Oh, no. uh. ah. I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> wow, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it goes. There she goes again! <laughs> Man, why did we ever use the stairs? The war in Ole <laughs> has claimed too many lives. I pray that it's over for good. What do you think of the Inquisition? I think the entire world is looking over its shoulder, wondering if the Inquisition's watching. Like Santa! Alright, well, bye. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. One of my alts, I took him to the Winter Palace just to fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> Did he hate it? He was like off in a corner, <laughs> like trying to hide. Because, and this guy was like up, coming up to me like, do I know you? And he's like, no. He's like, I'm pretty sure I know. No, you don't. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't know anybody. Of course. Krem, do you got any uh, opinions on Most happening? of the charges are still at the Temple of Mythal. I missed a crazy fine. What, where were you? We'll talk later. Bull. Bull. So to kill Corypheus, all we have to do is kill his dragon first? That's easy. We're good at killing shit. <laughs> Just one more big fight to put this magister asshole down for good. I knew you'd get us here, boss. Thanks, James. I mean, Bull. Right. I'm ready and eager. <laughs> Sounds strangely sexual. I've been waiting for the chance to pay that bastard back. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Hey, boss. How are you? Bye. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. Sarah! Sarah, why are you kind of ignore me now that I'm not all up in your snatch anymore? She's like, whatever. <laughs> I took her to the Winter Palace too. She probably hated it. She loved it. What? Oh, what because everybody dresses so funny? No, because she told the people, like, oh, her, her name. Pranks? 
She told the guy uh, her name, but it was like something like Sir Farts a Lot or something. <laughs> they're like, I'm presenting Mistress Farts a Lot or something. It was like something like that. And she yeah. just starts laughing. <laughs> Oh, hi, yeah. Listen, stand there. Right there. Now, about Mithal. What? Oh, she's like, are you possessed or what? Gotcha. Would you like me to Yeah. Sarah, I don't know what reaction you want, but can this be it so we can be done? <laughs> All right. So maybe it's still you. Someone needed to do something. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks... Well, Dunker Butt, let's have a go. <laughs> Even mad old Abelas said elves destroyed themselves. The only believable bit in a sea of clear demon bait. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done. You're still you. We can leave these lies behind. How is aiming an arrow at my face a test? I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. Actually, no, <laughs> no, that makes sense. I don't know yeah. demons. At least, if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah? Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? No, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, it uh, I'm understand. I understand her line of reasoning. Yeah. Uh, you think Mythal was all lies? You seem pretty certain. You don't believe anything from Mythal. Course not. What, I should believe all that stuff? Because elves. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? <laughs> there can't be a bunch of gods and the Maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. So call me stupid, but I believe the stuff not made up by dead people who failed. Mithal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Sure, whatever makes you feel... Yeah. Uh, but let's what not if, say this because she'll yeah, be pissed. But what if even some of it is true? Oh yeah, that's a good point. There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. But everything we saw. Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Carifi shit heel is full of lumpy truth. I get it. You're an elf. Be all elfy. But this. You're the frigging herald of Andraste. Every time you open your mouth, you'll sound like an idiot. Well, I am an idiot, so... I've, I've said I'm not her herald. It's not as if it matters what I believe. I've already denied being the herald. Not for me to say, yeah. Just saying. Anyway, believe what you want. So long as we kill Kariffi fish. Whatever. Oh, she can be so tricky. <laughs> I have no idea what makes you Sarah happy, Sarah. Just tell me what makes you happy. Very well. Corypheus died, and then he didn't. That's why he always felt wrong, like he didn't fit inside himself. He wears another man's life. I thought dying was forever. You and me both. So did I. Corypheus seems to break a lot of rules. Corypheus seems kind of like an idiot who accidentally got a lot of power. Yeah, but I agree. is it him? Is he real? If a man can be dead and then not. Could I have saved the real coal? No. Oh, no. Nope, nope, no. Corypheus is using his connection to the Blight to make himself immortal. You couldn't do that. It gnawed at me, hooks in the hollows, pain of not knowing like the knot in his belly. But that is a hurt, and hurts can heal. I can heal. Forget. Cole? Cole, are you...? You may still use that name, if you like. I am here to help you. Whoa. That was really weird. 
I wouldn't just walk away at that point. I'd be like, okay. Like, do you want to talk about that? Color just saw something really weird. Ugh. I do not like having that mirror, Illuvian, in Skyhold. Corypheus may not be able to travel through it, but what if something else can? Uh, ask her about it. Don't. <laughs> hey, don't talk shit about people behind their back, okay? Yeah. Not into it. Morrigan's our expert on the Illuvian. If you're worried, why don't you ask her? I did. And? <laughs> she said I was unreasonable then offered to explain how the Illuvian works using words with less than four syllables. Ah, The Morgan. circle had a library. I'm fairly well read. Right. I'm not unreasonable. <laughs> He's taking it really personally. I'm not I, stupid. Ugh, God. <laughs> but it's like Morgan is just, yeah. Is there anything I should know? Not at present. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Wait, hold up. I want to get a kiss real quick. Did you need something? Do you have some time? Is there something on your mind? <laughs> Looking for a kiss. Let's go to our kiss spot. Was a promise to, to kiss? Borrow you. I would like that. <laughs> asshole! <laughs> what an asshole! I love it. I just love how she leans over, like, oh, dad ass. And she's like in the middle of kissing him, and he's like, nope, see you later, bitch. Well, see you later, lady. He wouldn't say that kind of thing. I just wanted to see what she had going on. It's been quite the momentous day, hasn't it, my dear? How do you feel? It's not every day one absorbs ancient elven magic. <laughs> I feel great. Feels great. <laughs> I've never felt better. I feel ready to take on Corypheus. Glad to hear it, my dear. No doubt there will be side effects later, but one thing at a time. The pieces are nearly in place. We'll soon strike against Corypheus directly. You've done well. I will be proud to fight alongside you when the time comes. I like it when she calls me my dear in like this very like affectionate way. Mm -hmm. Like ah, but not like in like a sexual way, but just like in a you know. I'm an older woman talking to you way. Yeah. And I don't know how to explain it. How do I explain it? What are the words I'm looking for? Can you leap into the fire or no? <laughs> hey guys, I'm the new Andraste. I'm the new Andraste. I'm the new Andraste, guys, and the Herald. <laughs> the guys come in, they're like, I knew this shit was a cult. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, some ambassador's like, oh, oh God. God. Let's go talk to Morrigan. Okay. Gilanane, mother of the Hala. They say Gilanane was one of the people and the chosen of Andruel, the huntress. One day, Gilanane came across a hunter that she did not know. At his feet lay a hawk shot through the heart by an arrow. Gilanane was filled with rage, for the hawk is an animal much beloved by Andruil. Gilanane called up to the goddess to curse him, so that he could never again hunt and kill a living creature. Gilanane's curse took hold, and the hunter found that he was unable to hunt. Ashamed, the hunter swore he would find Gilanane and repay her for what she had done to him. He blinded her first, and then bound her as one would bind a fresh kill from the hunt. But because he was cursed, the hunter could not kill her. Instead, he left her for dead in the forest. And Gilanane prayed for the gods for help. And Rural sent her hairs to Gilanane, and they chewed through the ropes that bound her. But Gilanane was still wounded and blind, and could not find her way home. So Andruil turned her into a beautiful white deer, the first of the Hala.